Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be back to school themed related because I feel like I made this video a really, really long time ago, probably like in 2016, just talking about like school and everything leading up to my decision to stop going to UCF. Um, but obviously I didn't have the audience or like anyone who really cared to listen. So I felt like remaking the video and especially now giving given the fact that I have a bigger audience and stuff. And I don't know, I just thought you guys might be interested in this. So um, this video is going to be why I quit UCF or dropped out of college. I do have a degree for those wondering. It's an AS in digital media, video and motion graphics. So um, it was really like heavily focused on like After Effects and design, like all of those programs, but I have taken a lot of college courses in my life, um, a really wide, diverse curriculum that I've taken. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed because I talk about my life, share my life. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram because it really helps me out. So starting off, I graduated high school around 2014 and then I, you know, applied to colleges and stuff and tried to apply for scholarships. Um, I did get one scholarship, I think. So I start going to UCF because it was closer to home. Um, like me and my friend always talked about like going to UF or whatever, because my goal was to become a doctor. Like I, that was my end all be all. I wanted to stay super focused. Um, I didn't want any like relationships or anything cause I needed to focus on becoming a doctor. And I was very serious about that. Um, I then thought that I wanted to go to UF um, with my friend who actually did end up going to UF and stuff. And <laughs> that's kind of funny. But I also loved USF. Um, I wanted to go there because I really liked the campus and also to my high school friends were going there, um, which actually they became really close in college, which is really cool. But I'm like, oh, I miss my friends. But I decided on going to UCF and it was really good at first. My classes were okay and they were still like challenging, but they were fine. Um, I was doing good. I had some good friends. Um, I was still like really lonely and like lost. That's probably the saddest one of the times I've been like the most sad in my life just because I loved my high school experience and like I had a good friends. So I would say UCF wasn't bad, but it was not like, oh, the best years of your life were in college. Like, no, that wasn't really for me. I was always studying, trying to do my best on tests and everything. I will make a separate video about this maybe in the near future, but I wasn't the best test taker. So it took me a lot more work than maybe, you know, one of my classmates, if you know what I mean. So I just like really just put my head down and like focused only on school. I didn't have a big social life and I was just like really alone. I did have like nice people around me. It's like not like anything horrible. So I do really well there. I, I get good grades. I, you know, live my life. I actually lost a bunch of weight just probably because I was like not the happiest and I walked everywhere. It was chill and I don't know, I was just like really lonely and sad. And I made these like YouTube videos in my dorm room because senior year of high school, I really got into watching YouTube. And I know that we were in the process of moving from our house. So we were in this a little apartment uh, while this place was getting built and I would make YouTube videos, but nothing really like lasted. So all of those videos are non-existent, but in a around 2015. Around that time I turned 18 and my parents got me a camera, which was so cool. I think I actually gave it away. I don't know what happened to the camera. I might have to look for that. It didn't have a flip out viewfinder, which made me really upset. Um, I didn't really think it through, but all I wanted was a camera so I could film videos. And I actually do have some up on my channel. If you go and sort by oldest videos. I'm sure you can find videos that I did in my dorm room. Um, they're a little cringe when I look back, but it was like one thing that was making me so happy. So um, I made little YouTube videos. I did well in school and I was in a club, so that's good. It was called Pre-Professional Medical Society and it was really nice and all the people there were so cool and like really smart. And like my experience there was really good too. But then, I don't know, I feel like 
I just got out of the swing of things and I was still doing fine in school. I made Dean's List um, for biomedical sciences for my second year, I think. So I was like going into my third year or like ending my second year. I don't know, but I don't really know like the chronological time frame, but um, I just remember my mom was like saying, because Chem 2 was like really hard for me. And there was a lot of my peers and classmates that actually didn't pass Chem 2, so they needed to take it again. Um, but I was passing, I know I say passing, like loosely because it was a C and like honestly I started to make like B's and A's I knew that like my parents were like oh something's up because her grade in this class isn't good so we were in the parking lot of Hooters actually and it was funny because my mom was like okay so like what's going on like all of this stuff and I honestly don't remember like the nitty-gritty details of the conversation but it was like I confessed that I like wanted to do videography and photography and that I loved that stuff. Um, and she was like, well, you know, like we never pushed you to be a doctor. Like that was kind of all on you. And I'm like, I know that. So I was in this like position where I was like, I like both things, you know? And they were like, okay, well, we'll talk about it and stuff. So I don't know. I kind of like let loose about how like only I studied, I didn't really like, I was really lonely, I didn't really like it there, I really didn't. It was a weird feeling that I had towards like my experience at UCF. I don't wanna say it was horrible, but like I wasn't happy. It was like a odd feeling that I had. So fast forward, um, I start to pursue and look into things dealing with photography. And we found this really cool program. It's probably still around, but it's a photography uh, bachelor's degree at Daytona State College. It was, it has some relationship to UCF. I was gonna move down to Daytona Beach and get an apartment and do photography. And then someone that my mom knew said, well, you know, if you have so many credits in a Florida State school or something, you are going to have to pay double. And we were like, uh, what? So then we looked into that. So just in case you guys are wanting to know like all about this, um, if you take too many class credits, like if you have too many credits, the state will like charge you a lot more. So obviously that wasn't gonna work out. Um, so we found a program at Valencia that had everything I wanted to learn and study. I start and learn about digital media, video and motion graphics. And you learn about video, photography, cameras, and like um, different graphics. So how to write things on the screen and how to move objects in After Effects, like all of that sort of stuff. So that seemed to really fit what I wanted to do, um, which is obviously like YouTube and video and everything. So it was a really good fit and I still, like my goal was I wanted to get some type of degree in 2018 because I knew, this is a bad reason, but I knew that my peers would be graduating and I'm like, I wanna to graduate too, so we made it. And I did graduate in 2018 and I wanted to make sure I had like a good job and I did. Yeah, that's kind of the story. I don't know if I missed anything because I'm honestly just um, talking like how I would talk to a friend telling you the story. And now we're here and now I almost have 40,000 subscribers and I'm averaging like four to 600 views on my YouTube videos, which is like insane. And again, I just wanna thank you guys so much. Um, I get paid to do this, which is another thing that I never ever thought was possible. I mean, I still am interested in the medical field. No opportunities and choices are closed off for me. Um, but also too, I just wanna throw in that like rule about class credits and stuff is just freaking ridiculous. And I might go off on a tangent, I'm sorry guys, but like that's ridiculous. People should be encouraged to like learn what they wanna learn and do what they wanna do. Like, I wish you could create your own major. You know, what if someone loves science and they also love history? Like they should be able to take classes like that. I don't know why. And then for a job, you should just be able to get the training you need to do that sort of job. Obviously doctors, surgeons, like really like professional, like certain professions that wouldn't work, but some professions it would work. So I think we need to be a little bit more flexible and let people take the classes they wanna take so they can 
I don't know, learn what they want to learn. I love photography, I love videography, and I also love anatomy and like chemistry and like I've always wanted to take an organic chemistry class and I know that sounds crazy but I mean that's just another topic I'm interested in and I like it. But honestly though, Chem 2 was like really hard too because the professor wasn't that good and I know that you shouldn't like blame a professor but still. Anyway, um, I'm kind of going off on a tangent now. I am sorry, but I just wanted to get that off of my chest. So yeah, that's pretty much why I dropped out of UCF. I found and wanted to pursue my passion and everything. And it was kind of late in the game to change my major. Like I was like kind of halfway and then I decided to do that. So we didn't want to like spend like triple, quadruple amount of money for that because that's just a lot of money. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.